Hello everyone. Welcome back to our lecture series. Lecture series 14, Network Security, dealing with HTTPS. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTPS. So, HTTPS, it is nothing but it refers to both of HTTP and SSL to implement a secured connection. So you can see that your hypertext protocol, it is nothing but it is providing you some set of rules and standards that is completely governing the transmission between the client and the server. That is simply you can say that it is World Wide Web. So here, the computers on this WW, that is World Wide Web, it is using hypertext transfer protocol. Why? It is using some set of rules so that before the connection, the client and the server across the world wide, world wide web ensures that there is a MAC code or a secret message exchange between the client and the server and the data they are surfing doesn't go anywhere. So the, the first part of an address, that is the URL, it is nothing but, I uh, mean, it signifies the document that is written in your HTML format, that is hypertext markup language. So coming to this, this HTTP, it is, not, it is a client server protocol, as we have already discussed. There is a client and the server who is working on the World Wide Web, exchanging the data, which, which will be reliable connection oriented transport services like TCP will be used and here the browser is an HTTP client why because the browser will send some request where it will send to the server the browser will send a request to the server wherein here you can see the client sending a request to the server so here browser send a request to the server and the response will be sent back by the server to the browser so here this http server is nothing but it is sitting at one end and observing the uh, communication that is taking place uh, between the browser and the server and also observes that through which port it is being communicated. So there are some standard ports used for HTTP servers which is nothing but AT and this HTTP is implemented as one of the best and top protocol in the network when compared to the other sets of protocols where because it produces reliable transport. So any protocols will guarantee that it is uh, it is one of the topmost protocol that gives the secured communication between the browser and the server. So here you can see the connection initiation, initiation and closure. So the uh, in handshake protocol we were seeing synchronization, acknowledgement, certificate request at different phases. So here you can see the connection initiation and closure in a very short way. Before that, when this HTTP is, is used, there are some elements that are used for uh, used for encryption. That is the URL of the requested documents will be encrypted. The contents of the document that is transferred from the browser to the server will be encrypted. And the contents of the browser forms, cookies, contents of the HTTP header, all these will be completely encrypted. And that's why we say that your HTTP becomes the top of any other protocol. So coming into initiation, connection initiation, here you can see for your HTTP, the agent that is acting as a HTTP client also will act as a TLS client. That is the client, that is the sender, initiates a connection to the server across the appropriate port, say 80, and then it sends a TLS client hello message. So this synchronization first starts with the client hello message, and it begins to have a TLS handshake. Then the TLS handshake will be finished and the client may then initiate the first HTTP request. So you, you must be clear that uh, at the start, the client will send client hello message wherein the handshake signal is communicated with each other and the client is initiated to transfer the first, first HTTP request. So all the HTTP datas 
that is sent as a TLS application data is completely encrypted. So we need to be clear that there are some three levels of awareness, like wherein your HTTP client, when requesting a connection to an HTTP server, it is done at the lower level. And typically, the next level in the TCP is nothing but RTLS. That is, at this level, what happens is the session will be established between your client and the server. So, this session can support any number of connection at one time. And finally, what happens is the TLS request will completely give a connection where the connection will begin establishing a TCP connection. So this is how the connection initiation is done. When connection closure comes, here you can see an HTTP client or a server can indicate the connection uh, closed by this message, connection closed. So this indicates that the connection is closed. And the closure of an HTTP connection, it, it involves a TLS closed connection. That is, it will involve the closing of TCP connection. At TLS level, what happens is the proper way to close a, a connection is done by close notify alert, by sending close notify alert. So that is the alert which is sent to notify the closing of the connection. So the TLS, uh, after sending a closure al uh, alert, after sending that close notify alert, completely closes the connection and waits for the other side to send the closure alert. Say suppose if uh, this close notify is sent by both the server and the uh, uh, server and the browser, then it, the connection is completely closed. Or else what happens, there will be some programming error on the server. If, if suppose the client uh, sends a, a close, if close notify and the server doesn't send back, then there will be a programming error on the server, which will be communicated as the error, which will drop the TCP connection. It will not completely close the connection. It will drop the TCP connection. This is how the initiation and the closure uh, will be happening in your HD. TPS. Hope you have understood about the complete concept of HTTP and seeing about the advantages of HTTP. Why we say that it is a top most protocol is it is independent, platform independent. That is it allows any number of porting. It is just having a uh, uh, having a port 80 wherein that is said to be the normal port for communication but then it has many number of ports to communicate. There is no runtime support which is uh, the running of uh, or execution of program takes place by itself and it use it is used over the firewalls for many number of applications and it is not connected that is it is not connection oriented there is no network overhead created or there is no traffic created complete session is maintained and the information of that state is sent back between the client and the server properly though it may be the topmost protocol there are some limitations like it is only i mean http is slightly so slower than your http and your HTTPS, it cannot be prevented from uh, stealing of confidential information. Once information is stealed, you cannot revert it back. And in SSL data, encryption is completely done due before the transmission of data. But that cannot be done in HTTPS. And your HTTPS add some some or network overheads, network traffic overheads, which cannot be maintained at particular interval of time. Hope you have understood about the advantages and limitations of HTTP. Please be stay tuned for more information. Thank you.